Hi folks and welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing fantastically well out there. Well in today's video, as you can see here, and you've probably read it on the uh, on the title, we're gonna take a look at uh, a little lamp. Yeah, look lamp <laughs> that we got at the Manchester Guitar Show. So it's time for a amp review. So yeah, like I said, I, uh, you, you may, if you've seen that vlog from the Manchester Guitar Show, you may have seen me trying this little lamp out. Although it was just on the top of a Marshall, so you might not have guessed which amp I was actually trying out at the time. I tried it, I saw it, I thought, ooh, a tiny terror. Now, I've got the micro terror now to ooh, compare the difference in size. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like the little micro terror. So I thought, oh, let's give that a try out. And I just tried it out with no pedals in front, just tried it out into that big Marshall 4B12. I thought, yeah, I like that. Now, compared to the uh, micro terror, this is a full valve amp. So, from what I can see, I think it's got a couple of 12 AXMs in the front, and I think the EL EL 84s in the back. Either the 84s or 34s, I think. I think they're 84s. So on the front of the amp, you've got your on and off switch, which is acts as a standby as well. So it's just one switch for on, standby and off. It's, I think sometimes, I think that's a better way of doing it. But anyway, you can either have it at 15 watt. Or seven watts. Add simple little controls, volume, tone, gain, and your input. And on the back, it's just got three outputs for different homages of cabs or impedances. So you can have four, eight, or 16. There's no effects loop, unfortunately, because I would have loved to have tried the, uh, the PDE queuing with this. I have tried it in the front and. Mm, so let's switch the tube screamer off i've got the demon tube screamer in front so on its own with the, this sort of tone i've dialed in i've got the gain set to about two o'clock ish in fact i've got everything's about two o'clock You're getting that good basic sort of that good basic rock tone, but you can really clean it up if you switch the gain all the way down. But you do have to turn the volume up. And then when you turn the game back up, like with the uh, Marco Terry, you do have to turn the volume back down a touch. Mm -hmm. 
say that's at 15 watts and 7 watts. So, well, I have a look at the uh, the main tool controls, volume, which is volume. So, let's put that, uh, fat now, we'll leave the tube schema off at the minute, so put it back on 15 watts. So, this is the tone. I'm sort of preferring it about two o'clock ish. And you gain. On its own, yeah, I think it's a good rock camp. Put this tube screamer in front, and it does come to life a bit more. So yeah, that was the Orange Tiny Terror. What do I think about this thing? Does it get the wizard's seal of approval? Or does it get the finger of doom? Oh, for me, gets the wizard's seal of approval. As you know, I've said this before in previous videos, I am a big fan of that orange sound. And this is no exception. Like I said, when I tried it at the, uh, at the guitar show, I was like, yeah, I think I can do something with this. And I didn't try it with any pedals in front. It was just straight into the amp. Like, yeah, that's a good that's a good starting point to uh, perhaps build some different tones on. I've just like I say, I've just got a tube screamer in front of the minute, but yeah, tube screamer EQ, or maybe even the uh, Jio Ultimate Drive. I've not tried it with that yet. That might be uh, that might be an interesting. See how that comes out, just to perhaps say bring a bit more aggression out of it. But yeah, I don't like the fact that you can bring it down to seven watts, just brings that volume down. Yeah, I think you do just lose a little bit of aggression on it, but not that much. But for, for home use, I think it's perfect. Would it cut it in a band situation? I'm not sure. Perhaps with a 4B12 and mic'd up, then yeah, it might cut it in a, in a band situation. Simple little amp to use. 
you've just got three little controls in front, bang a tube screamer or some sort of overdrive in front. I think you can get some pretty decent tones out of it. I like to say, perhaps bang an EQ in front as well, just to shape that tone a bit more with you only having that tone knob. Unfortunately, for some reason, they've stopped making these. They don't make these anymore. I did have a I did have a look on the Orange website and it's out of production. Why that I don't know because it's perfectly like, maybe maybe because they're selling so many of them. But I, I do prefer the sound on that probably because it's a full valve amp uh, gain. The gain staging on that I think is a bit more controllable, if you will. And I I, I do I think. It, I hate using words like this. A bit warmer, a bit more saturated. I mean, I find the marketer, I think, I find it a bit harsh. It would have been nice to have a, an effects loop in there, but hey ho, you can't have everything. <laughs> yeah, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. And if you want to grab yourself some evil wizard merch, there's a link to the merch shop down in the description. But that's all from me, folks. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. You can follow me on social media and you can get my music online. And if you want to support the channel, there's uh, Buy Me A Coffee and PayPal links. They're all down in the description. Click up here to subscribe and click the link down there for videos that you may not have seen. Keep it loud. Keep it heavy!